Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Salam alaikum to all my Arabic friends. Kung tane kesa he sanggaye to all my Pakistani and Indian friends. Magandang araw sa lahat. Buenos tardes and of course to all the people who are watching. Good day to all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm gonna make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for all of us. Today we're going to talk about all snaps. AutoCAD has many tools that lets you draw precisely as you can, and one of these tools for accuracy is the Osnap. Osnaps are short for object snap, in which, by the name suggests, your points are being snapped or somehow magnetized in some certain specific points in an existing object. To understand how important it is, I will show you what will happen without Osnaps. I have here an elevation. And suppose I'm going to put the correct door in this area. What I'm gonna do is to copy the door, which is DA01, and fit it exactly on this opening. But before that, let me quickly inform you that the easiest way to access the OSNAP is to press the F3 or the OSNAP toggle on and off. The other way is by clicking this OSNAP icon in the status bar. You can watch my other videos that deals further with F3 OSNAP function keys on the link below. Zoom extent, this will view all the drawings, and here is the door schedule. And what we need is the DA01. Here it is, DA01. Go to Views, Viewport Configuration, and choose these two vertical. What this does is to split the view so that you can have one view here and another one on the other side. And you can switch from one view to the other just by clicking each windows. So what we're gonna do is to copy this uh, door into the opening without the OSNAP. CO for copy. Select objects. Select this door. Enter. Specify base point or the common points or coordinates between the object and the displacement. So we suppose it's this one. And as you go to the object, you will notice these green lights in the objects. These are all snap points, and as you hover down your pointer in these snaps, a tooltip will appear, which describes what the all snap is. Like this one is the end point, this one is the midpoint, and so on. And as I said, we're going to copy this without the all snap. To turn off the all snap, press F3. Then, pick this base point. I'm doing it without all snap. Click this area, then pick this base point. What we did seems to be okay, but when you zoom in this area, it is not exactly on the opening. So this is how important OSNAP is. And to discuss further, let us open another drawing. Go to Start Homepage, Explore Sample Drawings, double-click Database Connectivity to open it, and double-click Floor Plan Sample. Would you like to open the file read only? Just say yes. By this time, I will assume that you already know how to use the pan and zoom command using your wheel mouse button. You can watch my other videos that deals with navigation tools on the link below. OSNAP has many modes and one of these is the one that I mentioned a while ago, the endpoint. The correct way of working on OSNAP is while you are within a command, let's say polyline, PL enter, and as you go near an object, the pointer will snap to a certain point on that object and this green OSNAP markings, which is called glyphs, will light up along with a tooltip. And while it is lighted, you can pick on that point. Then specify next point, let's pick on this end point of this. So you can be 100% certain that this line is placed on the end point of these two objects. OSNAP goes along with almost all commands. Let's try another command. Let's say stretch, S, enter. Select object, let's create a crossing on this wall, enter, specify base point, let's pick the end point of this wall, pick, then on the second point, this time, let us pick the midpoint of this wall, the midpoint glyphs is triangle, pick, I will delete this one, and let's stretch this other wall, end point to end point. You can access the other OSNAP modes by right clicking the OSNAP icon, on the status bar. Right click and an OSNAP flyout will appear. And these OSNAP that are checked here are the running OSNAP or the OSNAP that are active and will appear while I'm working. You can check the OSNAP modes that you want to make running OSNAP right here or you can click the settings at the bottom of the flyout and as you do that, an OSNAP dialog box will appear. 
You can also access this OSNAP dialog box by the keyboard shortcut OS and you will end up to the same dialog box. We already know the endpoint which snaps to the closest endpoint or corner of a line or geometric object. Midpoint snaps to the midpoint of a line or geometric object. Center snaps to the center of an arc, circle, or an ellipse. Right click on the OSNAP icons on the status bar. Make sure that the center is checked. Mine is checked. Let's make a command. Let's say a rectangle. Enter. Specify first point. Pick the center of the circle and the center of this other circle. Geometric center snaps to the centroid of any enclosed irregular shaped polylines and splines. Right click on the OSNAP icon and check the geometric center. Let's make a command. Let's say circle. This is the geometric center of this irregular shaped spline. Nodes snap to a point of an object. Objects that has nodes are the dimensions and text. Right click, check the node. Let's say dimension. I will show you where the, the nodes is. So this is the node of this dimension, this small point. And the other side, quadrant snaps to a quadrant point of a circle arc or an ellipse. So right click on the OSNAP icon and check the quadrant. From the word quad, when you divide the circle into four equal uh, sizes, you are creating a quadrant. So the quadrant point are, let's make a command like polyline. So this is a quadrant point number one, quadrant point number two, three, and four. Intersection snaps to the intersection points or the point whenever any lines crosses each other. Extension causes a temporary extension line to be displayed when you pass the cursor over the endpoint of an object. Then, you can specify points on that extension. Let's make a command. Do not pick. There will be an extension tracking line that appears. Pick. So this is the extension. Insertion snaps to the insertion points of an object. And usually, objects that has insertion points are attributes, blocks, or a text. So I have a block here. Right click on the OSNAP and check the insertion. Make a command, PN. This is the insertion point of this block. So te text, this is the insertion point of this text. Perpendicular snaps to a point perpendicular to the selected geometric object. Let's make a command, PL. So this is perpendicular. This is 90 degree. Tangent snaps to the tangent point of an arc or a circle. A tangent point is where a straight line or an arc touches and not crosses the curvature of a circle or another arc. You can watch my videos on circles for further insights. PL. So this is the tangent point. It touches the curvature but not crosses the circle. The nearest will snap your pointer to the nearest point of an object whether it is an arc, circle, or a line. Let's make a command, PL. This is the nearest. Apparent intersection snaps the visual intersection of two objects that do not intersect in 3D space but may appear to intersect in the current view. To illustrate, I have a rectangle and I'm going to make a line. Go to Southwest Isometric, move this line upward. So on 3D view, this doesn't meet. But when you go on top, this line meet at some point, which is the apparent intersection. PL. This is the apparent intersection. Parallel enables you to draw a new line, line segment, polyline, or X-line to be parallel to an existing linear object that you identify by hovering down your cursor. To illustrate, make sure that your ortho or F8 is off and uncheck all the other OSNAP modes except parallel. So type PL. Let's start on this point. Hover down your mouse on an existing line and when the OSNAP parallel appears, do not pick, then wait for this parallel tracking line to appear then pick. So this line is parallel to this line. So there you have the complete OSNAP modes. 
in my line of work, I usually set these OSNAPs as my running OSNAP. And if in case I'm in the middle of a command and the OSNAP that I need is not running, just hold the shift key and right click anywhere on the screen, then the OSNAP flyout will appear. And you can choose the OSNAP that you need. Let's try. PL, start point, pick anywhere, shift key, plus right click, then this flyout will appear. Then you can choose any OSNAP that you need. Let's say perpendicular, enter. But take note that doing this will not set the OSNAP as running OSNAP. If you want to keep the OSNAP running, you need to check and make it active on the OSNAP dialog box. And thank you for watching. If you find my videos useful, please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon for future contents. Stay home and healthy, stay positive, and God bless.